It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day today. Hello, Zahir Outliers. Niyama and Sean here. And thank you so much for letting me be a part of your journey. It's fun. I, I like to find a way to ground myself in or to pull myself into the conversation that we're going to have today. And I think this one, like on the Outliers Edge podcast, we focus on people who are one of the first, one of a kind, or one of the only in the things that they do and figure out how we can help improve the performance of that to make to get even higher results, uh, as well as to increase the authenticity along the way and do it in a way that is that brings you more freedom and profitability as a result. There's someone here today that I am really excited to be in conversation with. It's really featured here on uh, on the, the Outline Sense podcast. Uh, he, he's a good friend of mine and he, he's someone who, shows up in the world in a way that like pulls that reminds me of who I am and pulls me forward in in what it is that I do. And today we have Shermaine Melton. Shermaine, I am I'm excited for today. I'm I'm genuinely excited. Thanks for saying yes to this invitation. Hey Niyama, no problem. I'm glad to be here. And I love that uh I love that introduction, man. It makes me feel really good. Thank you. I only say it how I experience it. Right. That's that's really that's really it. Um yeah, I brought you in a bit here. Um, so far, we 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 go back, and I want to, and I have a lot of context to you, but I want to give outliers here a bit of context as well. Um, throughout the conversation, we're going to focus on your journey. We're going to focus on your story. We're going to be focusing on like your philosophy of doing things. And I think that what will be really helpful is to give people a, a context as to like why why is your name? like like what have you been doing. And my thing is like highlight real. Like give us like take up as much space as you want on as on like some of the awesomeness is that is you and we'll continue on from there. Love it. Love it. it it's always for me a little bit uh, difficult talking about myself, but, but uh, I'm leaning into that courage. And so, uh, <laughs> Just so you know, I, I feel, I feel like a part of me is like, Oh, this, this is part of why I do it. Cause I like people are like, I have a hard time talking. I'm like, well, let's practice that. Exactly. You know? I haven't actually said that out loud yet, but that's, that's it. You know? Love it. Um, all right. So, so hit us up. You're, you're stepping into the courage of that. Yeah. So, so, I'm Shermaine Melton, and so I'm I'm black, I'm gay, and I'm Christian. And being gay was a piece of me, a part of me that I hid for over 20 years because I was afraid. I was afraid of of two big things. Number one, uh, negative consequences from my job. I, I felt like uh, if I were myself, that some something bad would happen uh, with with my job. And number two. I was afraid that the people that I love the most would turn their backs and that I'd be a alone, which was like my biggest fear because the only thing I ever wanted was to belong. Mm -hmm. Shane, I appreciate you just like bringing that in, like right off the bat here. Like this is how we're going to play this game, right? We're going to play out here and be in a place where they get to see you. Um, tell us a bit about like what you do professionally. Uh, like, I, like I don't want to leave where we just where we just were right, so let's add on top of that the a bit of your where you were professionally and then we're going to spend the rest of the conversation back in that space sounds uh, good i love it so so professionally i help people with just that so i'm an executive leadership coach uh chief courage officer and i work with people who want to be more courageous in their lives um to stop hiding to be more themselves to to own their voice and and to really um to really create more freedom of money freedom of time and, and freedom of of authenticity of of being uniquely them so that's the work that i do you know it is the work that like i experience doing because like you know i've spent a lot of time being in like this world of like be more you right and uh there was a there was a large part where i got lost in how do i express what it is that i want to express because I'm I'm just afraid of coming in like like uh I don't know just like a, a a a young a young person just being like just be your authentic self and everything will work out here you know uh, but one of the things I really appreciate about you is that there's the element of courage right because it, there's I feel that you get that being authentic like doesn't doesn't isn't just like it's just like sunshines and rainbows like like right. there's a path to this here i'll yep. be curious if you don't mind just like share share with us a bit about like your journey your story to to courageously being you um and and, and you just pick one story right now i think it'd be really really great for us to like see and rep like yeah. cement that into something 
Yeah, one story of of being myself is is the one that I spoke of earlier around hiding the fact that I was gay. Like that was huge. Like I grew up in the church. I um, you know, <laughs> I grew up in the church and I hid it for as long as I could. It was it was um it was really hard. And when everyone around you is sort of against who you are. And so I was so afraid to speak up and to be myself that I hid it for as long as I could. Yeah, so I want to, like, it gets me that, like, well, there's two things. One one, one part of me is, like, it's like, like that feels really huge to me, right? Yeah. Uh, and I want to make sure I say that out loud because there's a lot of other things that, I, that I'm thinking of that I'm like, well, it doesn't feel as huge. And I realized, like, there's, like, a comparison thing here. But, I, I, like, in my, in my attempt to bridge it together, I'm like, I don't want to, like, to make anything to put anything in like the wrong context. So I've said that, you know, um, I want to explore with you that like how you keep like stepping into the challenges of, of your, of your life, how you like keep finding new ways to be courageous and like, and some of the benefits that you're seeing from that. So tell me a little bit about something like more recently that you're like, uh, I know the other day you were, you were, um, you had done something, you, you had shared something with me. I would love to like share that with outliers so they get a chance to, to hear about like how you keep playing the game. Yeah. Uh, something I shared the other day with you. Um, <laughs> it, it, this, I'm like, what, what, what was the thing? Well, we well, 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 thing. This is so y'all, y'all <laughs> see, y'all see the benefits of, and the, and the other side of it of like, of like actually knowing one another. Um, you, you told me about a, a speaking engagement where you stepped oh. out and you did something really different. Okay. We're on the same page. Yeah. Why don't you share a little bit about that real quick? Got it. Got it. Thank you so much. Uh, it's called, uh, I named it two chairs, two microphones. And, what this was is um, I had an opportunity. I had a friend who um, was putting on this big conference and they needed speakers. And he said, hey, Shermaine, would you come and speak? I need oh, I need speakers. And the thought of that, you know, I always run these opportunities by a scale of like, how excited am I? Number one, how scared am I? Number two, and number three, how nervous am I? And these were all ones, like one being really low. Like I was not scared. I was not nervous. I was not excited. And I stopped for a moment and thought like, okay, what would really make this like tens for me on all three of those? I said, hey, if you give me two chairs, two microphones, I'll coach someone on stage. And he paused for a moment. And he said, how, how are you going to do that? Like you're gonna bring someone up. You don't know these people. How are you gonna? How are you gonna do it? And 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 I said, uh, uh, it's it's what I do. But I'm in if you give me two chairs, two microphones. And he said, we'll figure it out. And as long as you come and help us out. And so I did it. <laughs> I leaned into that courage. It was the first time I had uh, ever done something like that. I created it on the spot. Um, I was in a room with 30 people and brought someone on stage and coached them. And it was. It was talk about talk about scary. <laughs> it was it was one of the scariest things I ever did, but also the most exciting and nervous things that I've done. And it required courage, but not in the moment while I was on stage. The courage for me was required when I was in that conversation I was just telling you about. The courage to to say, you know what will make this really exciting for me is two chairs, two microphones. And so it feels really good. So there's like two parts of that that I want to just unpack here and outline. I'm going to invite you to something here. Uh, Shemaine, you talked about three, you had three criteria that you use to make a decision, right? Yep. Uh, one, outlines, like, like, like just check in with yourself. Like, if, what are your criteria? Do you know what your three might may be, right? Uh, they could be the same as Shemaine's. They might be, they may be something different. But uh, it was really cool hearing that you're like, hey, I look, th I look at different opportunities that come my way through through the filters of these three areas yeah that was that was one thing that was really cool to me the other thing that was cool was that was when you you're like look there were ones all around they didn't they didn't cross my threshold and what was cool is like you didn't just say no right and, and that to me is fun because i spent a lot of time and people will talk about like know your boundaries no like be be good with saying no so on and so forth um and i'm a recovering people pleaser so i, I look i look for different skills to be like all right what is, what is it like if you're not being a people pleaser but there's something in that component of almost like transmuting 
what would have been a no into something that you're like, like, I would be excited to say yes, if this happened, yep. you know, um, can we speak to that? Can we speak to that a, a bit here? Because I feel like it's, it's a skill. There, there's something going on there that, I, that most of us, I don't know. I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know you could just ask for more of what it is that you want rather than just being like, no, I'm just I, like, I have to either protect myself, protect my time, whatever it is. It's not in alignment with my brand. It's like, could we make it work for us? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And, and yeah. So you. you're so right, Niyama. For me, I used to be the other way. I used to be like, oh, no, nope, I'm not doing it. And for me, it was even, oh, this is too scary. This is too exciting. This makes me too nervous. So I'm a no. And so off the bat, oh, so it was like it was almost like too good, and then like because like and that's okay. scary, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, nope, I'm not. Mm -mm, that's too big. That's too that's that's too uh, expansive. I don't know what's on the other side of that, so I'm gonna say no. The thing on the other side of that is so scary that nope. And so now, yes, it's it's nervous, excited, scared. And so now I've kind of shifted my thinking. Anytime an opportunity comes in, like. I think about how do I how do I how do I make it something that I want? If it's not something I want or that uh, excites me, like how do I flip it? Um, and I think this came from uh, people pleasing as well, being a people pleaser, and and then and then people pleasing, and then realizing that I'm doing something I didn't want to do just to please the other person. So I said, you know, so I've got I'm at a space now where it's like, hey. I'm going to, I want to do what lights me up. I'm going to do more of that and um, call it being selfish. It is. And I'm totally okay with it because, <laughs> because uh, um, I, I love that I'm, uh, it's going to cause me to show up in a, in a, in a greater space in a, with, with more of a light. And, and um, that is going to be the thing that impacts other people. And so I found that on the other side of being quote unquote selfish is where my impact is is going to be. Yeah. I, I, it's funny. Cause I hear you. And like one part of my brain is like, yep, makes sense. We're going to go to the next question. And another part of my brain is like, what? Wait, hold on. You want to be scared. You want to like be nervous. Like, yeah, I get that. Um, but I, I, I feel like I can't just like gloss over that. Cause it isn't like, what do I want? Well, I want like a room full of all these people. And then like, it, like, it didn't feel like it was coming from that place. It was coming from like a totally different place, a place of growth or something like that. So can you just speak to that here? Because I, I think it's a, it's a frame that, that outlines we can really like walk away with. Tell me, tell me a little bit more about it. From your yeah. Perspective. Thank you, Niyama. What I've learned is really what I want is more confidence. And so I've learned that if I do things that are really nervous and that really scary and that uh, um, I re I'm really excited about doing, that's where my confidence comes from. That's how I grow. That's how I level up is by leaning into and looking for those opportunities and actually executing on them. Because now, since I did the one, uh, two chairs, two mics, now I'm like, oh, where else can I go? Like my confidence shot up to the roof. And I thought, oh, this is possible now. Now I see this whole other view of, of possibilities that are out there, but it required me being scared and nervous and excited. Yeah. I'm like, I'm loving this here. I'm loving this component here. Cause like, I just want to like, I really like my, my core. I want us to just play. I'm like, I'm like, how can we play? And what's what I love about this here is that things that would normally have been a barrier to play become actually the, like the invitation to play the table stakes. It's like, Am I nervous? Am I scared? Am I excited? No. All right, let me up the ante to get us there. Are we there yet? Yet? No. A little bit more. How about now? Yeah. Okay. Now we can go play this game. You know. Uh, and I and I, I'm capturing something you're saying, which is the confidence part is coming as a result of having done those three the, the things yep. that that things that line up there. Yeah. And, uh, and so if I'm getting you now, and if I'm also here, like you knew what it is that like you got a chance to figure out what it is that you wanted by by speaking it. Yep. And then you had the experience of it. Now you have the confidence for it and the desire for more. Yep. Am I, am I capturing this right? Don't let me well put, put words in your mouth. I'm just like, well put. No, that's well, that's perfect. Well put. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Yeah. And Niyama, I found that when I, hmm, my growth 
is connected to these three things. And so if I'm I'm in a nervous, uh, a, ten, uh, uh, a 10 at nervous, 10 on excited and 10 at scared, my confidence is gonna grow way higher versus if those numbers were at ones. And so, yeah, so that's really, that's really fun for me. It's scary of course as well, but the end goal for me is I actually want the confidence. Yeah, yeah, it, it becomes almost like the the compass and things to run toward as opposed to the thing to run away from. Yep. All right, you know, outliers. I'm gonna come talk to y'all here. Uh, like, like, look, look at your criteria, uh, right there. And where's one thing in your world right now that you can bring up to those level to a level ten for those three criteria? And then on the other side of it, like, what's that thing that would help you build confidence? What's the thing you want to build confidence in? And even if for just right now you adopted Jermaine's like three criteria: scared, nervous and excited right yep what like how would you what would be the thing that you would go and do right now all right keep that in mind let's play that out go ahead Shireen. i feel like hey, you got something for me. yeah niyama and do this to your outliers as well like yeah. hey you might have something that you're on a nervous scale of seven about or, or six about like maybe look at how do you just take that tick that up one point what would it make it from a six to a seven or a seven to eight or something like that might be an area that that you look at instead of going right to a 10 Maybe. All right. Now, now you got me. Now, now I'm curious. I'm like, do I want to play? All right. Cause <laughs> like, cause like, cause one of the things about me is that like, I don't like to, uh, I, I had a coach that was a, fit, a fitness coach. Um, and he, I, I came in to try and be like, Hey, I need to get my body together. Yep. He said, and he was big. He had muscles on muscles. So it was really lovely. Right. Uh, and he, and he said to me, um, I will, um, I can get, I can, I can ask you to do th things more than you would normally do. Right. Something to that effect. I think I'm mm -hmm. starting to block it out. Right. Um, and I remember thinking to myself at the end of the, the, the workout, I'm like, yeah, that's because you didn't have to do it. Like, it's easy to tell people to do things, but then they themselves are the, 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 like the spoiler alert of all that is that I ended up like curled up in a ball in the, in the, uh, handicap stall, uh, in the bathroom after that workout, because it was like, he was just asking for too much for me, you know? And so I, I think as a part of me that like that plays in there where I'm like, you're going to get a workout and you're going to burn and it's going to be sore, you know? And at the same time, let me be, re let me be responsible and make sure we don't break you so, so fast that you can't do anything. So with that, I, that's my preamble. But the, the real thing that going on in my mind is like, oh, I wonder where I can play. Like, if I, if I was going to play this game right now and make this real for outliers listening and be like, if I'm Niyama just saying, yeah, you should go and do this, <laughs> you know, like, what, what would it be for me? Um, you know, there's, there's something, there's something that's, that's coming to me right now around um, building out this podcast network, right? And I don't think I've actually used the words podcast network on a podcast before, right? Um, and so I'm testing. I'm testing right now. Mm, I'm like I'm. I'm playing right now with with some with some different areas. All right, outliers. I'm gonna actually take a pause here because I can see some. I can see some ideas formulating of like where I would want it to go. Uh, the places. The places that feel scary become. Uh, where do I want to take my clients? Uh, I'm looking into. I'm I'm very good at being open, Jermaine. You know, you spend time with me. So I'm very good at being like, so where are we at? What do we need to work on? Like, come on in. Like, and I can stimulate conversation, so on and so forth. But what I am or stimulate thinking, but where I think I would like to apply this here is to uh really actively embed it into a program. You know, to come out and say what 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 scares me and then makes me excited at the same time and also makes me nervous is to come in and say, we're gonna start. We have a specific end destination in mind, and I'm actually just going to take you there. Even though something more exciting, something deeper, something else might come on, we're just going to go and see it all the way through. So I'm like, I'm seeing this right now as an opportunity to build either a, an intensive or a program or something um, that leads people all the way through on that. And so just, I just wanted to play that out in real time. It felt, it felt meaningful to like, not just toss it out, but like, hey, how does this actually look like in real time? I love that, Niyama. I I, uh, I found that there's something that happens. I don't know what it is. I'm sure there's a term for it. But when we actually articulate it and speak the thing out into the world, there's something that shifts inside of us. I I feel like I feel closer, right? Yeah. And it's and it's I I feel really closer to it. So I I, I appreciate that. I have to actually now have to come back and let you all know <laughs> when when, it, when it's done. But 
Uh, but I feel like when, when, once it's done, I'll be shouting it from the rooftops as it is. Love it. Yeah. So, Shemaine, let me ask you this. Like, I'm someone who, uh, like, like I'm vibing with you right now, right? Uh, but I'm also someone who has, like, a lot of energy toward, towards this kind of thing. Um, I, like, I been an entrepreneur for a number of years and I'm used to like looking into these things here. Um, what would you say, maybe you could take us either to any stories you have, maybe even take us like 10 years back to what you were doing before, like you're a coach and entrepreneur. Um, what would you say to the person who's like, I don't know, like find, like finds life to be a little lot quieter for themselves, you know, but is still looking to go and like make those kind of courageous moves. Like, like, Take, take me take me to either that time for yourself if that feels like it's applicable or like if there's any outlier out there let's let's listen to this and it's like all right cool like i don't know if i want to be on stage or yeah. you know lately, lately this kind of thing uh take, take me to something like that. yeah I, niyama i love that you're saying that because because part of my work is with introverted leaders who want to go from quiet mm -hmm. from from being uh, that quiet introvert because uh, there's this negative connotation for us introverts that we're shy and that, you know, th that sort of thing. And, and they want to go from that quiet introvert to, to being able to, to overthink less and to say what, what's on their mind, what they've got to say. And they want to be able to say it in, in like a brief way. Cause when we get really excited about something, we're just like given all the details and all the information, all the stuff. And so, to answer your question for, for anyone who's quiet, that quiet introvert who, who uh, wants to, wants to get their voice out. Um, let me, let me talk about my life for a second. Let me give an example of um, this probably had to be when I was in technologies. And so prior to being an entrepreneur, I was a senior uh, inf infrastructure engineer. So I worked on a lot of networking and, and uh, the IT space. And back then, I, 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 I would say, I, I would think all the time about things, right? So I was a thinker. I was always in my head. And sometimes I was scared to be wrong. I was scared to, to speak up and it be wrong. And then uh, that negatively affecting my job or because I was one of the only ones, one of the only black uh, engineers, it, it, it was sort of a double whammy. So I didn't want, I didn't want to make quote unquote us look bad. And I didn't want to make myself look bad. And so anyone out there that can relate to being that quiet introvert, the advice I would give you, one thing I would tell you is that number one, you deserve to be heard. Number two, um, when you speak, people listen. And and yeah, those are the two things I will say is and 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 to have the courage to to say what you have to say. One of the things that I would that I used to use as I was saying what I had to say is I would say, I'm not sure if anyone else has thought of this, but and then I would say what I need to say. So I used I used that those those words. I'm not sure if anyone has thought of this or I'm not sure if anyone has said this. And then I would say, say my thing. And so that was helpful for me. That's awesome. Shemaine. So let's play out here. Um, there's a couple of different ways I want the rest of the conversation to go. Right? All right. Um, one of them is to. Like a big part of me is like I was like, all right, we got a chance to play with courage. So like, I'm, yep. like I'm like very interested in like exploring like what I'm afraid of right now and like how to I like how to help people like explore like the, the fears of it and like leaning into the courage. I like that. Um, oh, you do? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm like I'm like all right, that that's it. Then like let's go there. Um, yeah, I think I think I think Shereen, it's almost like to me if you're if you're good with it, you didn't ask about the to that here uh i see a mic on your your side i see a mic on my side i see a chair like behind you i have a chair of mine here like I, a part of me feels like it might just be fun to spend the, the remainder of our time maybe about like 10 minutes here um with me in the hot seat and you bringing out something that 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 like ties all this together before we do that i want to make sure that like people know like if they want to come work with you if they want to follow more about you and things like that um 
where like like how they can go about doing that i want to i want to check in with that uh first let's make sure we put that in in there first and then if there's anything else that you want to say or like like you really want to bring out to to outliers we go there next and then if you just want to play with this in real time i i for like I think that's what like my heart wants on more of these podcast conversations, and I just, and I haven't been courageous enough to ask. And with you, like I realized, I'm like I didn't feel courageous. It just felt like this is what I want, you know. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with it. But first, like, so there's there's three parts of it. First one, just make sure that everyone knows, like, hey, how do, how do they how do they continue down to Maine's world? So that's one. Would you mind sharing that? I will. So my name is Shermaine Melton. So the easiest way to get a hold of me, uh, my website, ShermaineMelton.com or LinkedIn, Shermaine Melton. And, and my work uh, is, is with quiet leaders, quiet introverted leaders who want to be more courageous, who want to stop overthinking and be in action more. And Shermaine, let me ask this like on behalf of the outliers out of here, like if someone is listening to this and they're like, I'm not that, but I'm like, but I still feel like Shermaine is my person. You down for them to reach out? Oh, of course, definitely. Yep. Okay. Yep. Right, cool, 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 cool. Um, so uh, I've been watching a lot of uh, there's a specific TV show that goes cool, 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 and I'm like, I'm like, oh, I've been watching a lot of it because it's it's coming out in my in my. Voice I know which right one now. you're talking about. I love that show. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It's really good. All right, uh, uh, unprompted prop. This is uh, this is Brooklyn Nine Nine, and like it just got me. It just got me. All right. So I'm like, I'm like, I would hate to be like, what, what show is this that, that they both know? Um, so that's one. And then the next thing here is just like, let's just talk directly to any outlier that's listening right now um, here. Like um, if there was a takeaway you had for them, if there was something that you wanted to make sure that like we didn't, we didn't miss because we took the conversation in a different direction. What's, what, if we end the conversation right here, what would we have missed in our conversation? Hmm. Here's here's what I would say is courage is the conduit. And so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you want, but courage is going to be your conduit. Courage is going to be the thing that takes you from where you're at right now to where you want to go. That's the thing. I love it, man. All right. So now let me officially ask you, are you down to play the game that I was that I was putting out there where it's just like you want to just do the work? Let's do it. All right, cool. I, it's so fun to me because I'm like, because uh, I, I am honestly, I wish I could say that this was my courageous moment here, but like, it actually feels really like I, I'm grateful for it, like safe to, to like ask. Like, I'm like, oh, you can say one way or the other. Like, I would be totally good. Like, I can, I can dance or anything. But I realized like, this is actually closer to what I want to, like, this is my Saturday Night Live where it's like, like when we come here, we can actually do the work together so thank you something is really igniting inside of me this is a 10 for me the other okay. conversations haven't been but it's but i do also want to call out that like i still haven't done the courageous thing because this was it was easier to ask you than others but i well i'm happy to do it all right so let's see um why don't i toss it to you because i'm gonna lead you down a path of of that is already murky and unclear for me, you okay. know? And I almost feel like if I, if I'm leading you down that path, I'm just going to take you right to the murkiness as opposed to being like, why, why didn't you just take the not like the other clearly illuminated one? So why don't I pass the ball to you? We'll spend about like 10 minutes on this. We'll just, we'll just dive in and eventually I'll, I'll take the ball back and we'll wrap up for today. Perfect. And what first thing I want to start off with is, is Sometimes you have to go through the murky in order to see the clear path. Um, is is my my opinion, my perspective. Sometimes the murky is is the is the journey, is part of the journey. So keep doing um, that if you don't mind. Like I like this, like like because I I I actually do feel a bit of me feels like pretty selfish. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get like some awesome, like we're gonna spend some time here. But I love that you're also be able to call out, and I guess this is what you do, like call out like the learnings that we as outliers can take. Yeah. Uh, as things go on so please just like just please keep doing that yes right? i love it i will yeah and, and allies, if you can see me all, all right now i'm like i'm smiling i'm beaming right now because i'm like oh we're playing like this is it like we're really figuring out we're co-creating what this is yes yes the murky like and that's that's where the magic happens and so uh it's in the it's in the murky murkiness and so so let's jump in and so i'm i'm coaching you right you're coaching me all right man. I'm, so what I'm do you want in. what do you want to create niyama Okay, what do I want to create? I want to create. Okay, 
there's two things. Uh, there's the podcast network, which feels further away. It feels like I actually know what, what to do with that. The thing that feels really like sexy and like gets me is like the 100K offer, right? I would love to, I would love to create more concreteness through my offers in terms of um, how I serve people um, and to move from like what I am experiencing. It's not to say that it is the case, but what I'm experiencing as uh, a the commoditized coaching and instead like take my, I'm thinking about Simba, take my rightful place in, in, in my work through like, this is what I do, right? And to me, that comes through the lens of the offer that I would give that would make the people if I was just doing all the stuff that I really wanted to work with them on. If I was courageous enough to do it all, what would it, what would it, what would it, that, that be? Love it. Yeah. So I've got something for you, Niyama. So yeah. sort of uh, how I play in my world, I have this thing I've created called the Shermaine Melton method or the Melton method. Mm. And uh, I'm going to give that to you. It is, it is where, it is where you tell me, the client tells me what they want to work work on, and then I tell them what they need to hear. So you ready? Yeah. I, I Melt me, man. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is, Niyama. You're playing small. You, It's like you're asking for permission or you're creating these excuses. Oh, I don't know how to do this thing. And it's getting in the way. You're one of the smartest people I know, but it's, it's it, you're allowing that to slow you down and to keep you out of action. And we're gonna take time today to make sure you're clear and that you're moving. That's what I have for you. Any insights or thoughts come up from that? Uh, this gratitude, uh, I'm a bit pissed. Uh, cause I seen like, you like really, like you caught, I was like, Ooh, like you can see me breathing it in. Um, and I'm happy. All right. I'm really happy. Like even just being pissed, like, I'm like, Oh yeah. Like that, like that's the energy that I get to like use. Like, like, it means like you see me, you yeah. know? And I, I, I think, I think I'm saying that, but I'm like, I'm feeling like called in, not called out, but called in. Um, and I'm grateful. Like a part of me wants to cry. Cause I'm just like, Oh gosh, it's so nice to. I feel like I'm treading water, working really hard, but treading water and like yeah. just be like part of why I think I'm so excited to help people 10 X and get back into their impossible and play into other games. is like, I'm feeling that, that feel again of like, oh, I'm playing medium. I know, I know where it could yeah. go. I know where it could go. And I know where I am. And that bigger vision feels very large, Yep. but I'm right here. I'm, I, I feel like I'm, but I'm not in the bigger vision yet. I, or like, I don't know how the, the pieces come together. That's what I'm telling myself. So yeah. I would love to explore it in a very different way, but that's what I'm telling myself. Yeah. Which one do you want to dive into? You talked about the podcast network and then the hundred K offer. Which one do you want clarity on? Um, I would like to play in the hundred K offer. Um, and I think the reason I want to do that is because if I was playing, if I was playing for real, for real, like it would be my business would be, be like really well situated with strategic partners. And to me, like the hundred K offer, the reason I, I asked that and versus like a 10 K offer or anything like that, it's like, I want to get into and the hundred K still is like, like I'm making a million dollar offer if I needed to. Right. But it's like, what could I do and organize that could be like, that truly captures the full vision, but doesn't require me to have to be the one that's the one that's doing it. Yeah. Right. And I don't mean it from like a, a standpoint of, do you mind if I, if I get messy a little bit? Go ahead. Yeah. Cause I'm saying, I'm like, Oh, that's not, that's not, I don't mean it. Like I don't want to do it. But what I mean by the requirement of me having to be the one to do it is that like, I'm finding my game being limited by the size, by like what I feel like I can get done. Right. I, I think that one of my bigger strengths is in my leadership. And right now I'm not leading as much. I'm responding. I'm coaching like there's and like in my business, I'm executed, but I'm not leading. And with that, I don't have like 
large team. So like, it's like my visions of what I do in my business feels limited to my own skill set. Mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and the idea, like, like the, the reason I'm thinking the hundred K offer um, is like, I just feel like it will expand my thinking and have me be able to like go in out there instead of trying to go get clients or, or like, I'm just go, let me go make partners so that we can just go and take on the world together. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You said you're not leading. And so does that mean, does leading mean to you, like you have a team who are taking care of certain things when you say you're not leading, what, what does that mean? What does leadership mean? Yeah. I have a number of different ways of looking at it. I think, okay. I mean, um, I think it is like I, I I can a part of it is like leading outliers, right? So I'm creating this content, I'm bringing people on, I'm like I'm having conversations. That's leading. I'm leading through the way that I'm being, right? Like I'll like switching the switching the game up and be like, oh look, we can make this happen in real time, so on and so forth. Okay, that's also leading. The context that I'm looking at right now is is more in like team is like a more of a team oriented component, but. I don't necessarily need to be team as in teammates on like, like that are like employees or contractors and such. Uh, That's how I had been looking at it. I have been very drawn to working with partners. I've been really, really drawn to it. Cause like, honestly, I'm just like, Oh, well, this is easy. Like, and of course everything's harder. Like it, it feels simple. I think, I think I use the word easy, but it's really like, this is simple. Like with partners, everything can be done with the right partners. Everything can be done. I no longer need to be the most, I don't need to go do this training and learn this. And then all of a sudden get 15 years of experience, you know, taking care of something else. Or it's like, I can actually just provide comprehensive solution to people out there. um, And know that no matter what gets thrown my, always go find a partner to support me with it. You know, like, so I just feel like, I feel, I feel like the vision becomes infinite again. But I haven't gotten a strategic partner before. I've never done any of those things yet. And so mm-hmm. I'm kind of like in this limbo yep. of like knowing like, hey, this is what I think I would actually want to offer. This is what I can do, but this is what I would love to do, you know? And then being in a position where I'm like, okay, if I was going to do it, I would have to charge way more than I think is actually needed to because I need time to go and learn things, so on and so forth, right? As yeah. opposed to being like, I can create economies of scale where everyone wins. Clients get a, get a better rate. They get a better fulfillment. You know, I get to work with other people. I get to serve my clients even more deeply. And yep. my partners, like, get to do what they are uniquely gifted at without having to worry about where where are additional clients coming through, so on and so forth. Like, I just yep. see that being a, an overall win. Like, that to me... That is the 100K offer. Like that's, yeah. I would pay 100K for that. You know, so what I hear that. you saying is there's power in partnership and you want to you want to do that. You want to create more partnership. Yeah, I think there's like unlimited power in partnership. Like, yeah. I think I think it's I think that's like you can only grow. Yeah. Why haven't you haven't you why haven't you done that yet? Uh, okay. I think if I'm being I think it goes back to the playing small, right? Um, my thing here is like, I don't necessarily know if I play small, uh, nowadays, there was an energetic thing over the last few years with the kids and like trying to make sure I have the right energies. Yep. I think, but I think the real thing is like, I do think it takes energy because it's something new, new for me. I do think that I'm doing it, but I'm doing it at far, le- far lower levels than what I actually desire. So uh, an example is, is the podcast. Right. I reach out to people who I think are pretty cool who are doing big doing things out in the world that I also think are cool. I'm like, let me partner with you for X amount of minutes on this year to go and share you and what you do and the way you see things with my my um guild of, of outliers, mm. you know? And like, and so like, so like I'm finding like micro opportunities to partner. And then after, after people get done on the podcast, they get clips, they get videos. Like, like I try, I really show up for them from that perspective. I'm like, Hey, this is what it's like to be in space with me. But I haven't like, I've just started to enter my first conversation with having like referral partners and other kinds of things going on. But I haven't like, it, it's a whole business in and of itself in my mind, like yeah. partnerships, like it's like doing it right. And not just like, doing it right is the whole thing. And then the other side of it is 
um, I don't do anything and I, I, I do everything at volume, you know? So I'm not like looking for like five partners. What would it be like to have a hundred partners, you know? Um, like that's where my mind goes. And then um, what I don't want to say here is I sometimes doubt that whether what I am doing is good enough and specific enough for someone to want to partner with me. Yeah. All right. And so yes. that, that also plays itself out. Here's what I hear you say, Niyama. You're still playing small. The reason you haven't created it, these are my words. You're still playing small. You're focused on doing it right and getting it right. You don't want it to be messy. Remember, the gold is in the mess. Um, and you focus on playing big. Like you like you want it to be so big that you sort of, it, it's so big that you it causes you to become scared and uh, to play small. And then you doubt yourself. You doubt yourself. You sometimes think, am I good enough? Is this wor- Is this going to be right? Am I worthy of this? Things like that. What did I miss? I'm thinking about this here. I sometimes get caught, Jermaine, in like a period of time where, one, I don't know how to ask for help mm-hmm. properly. So I, I think I'm asking for help. And instead, like, it doesn't come across as help. Like it comes, like, I I think I'm actually asking for a co-creator and, and instead like it comes out, like someone's like, Oh, I'll just mentor you. And like, I get like mm-hmm. support and I'm like, Oh, it's going to get there. Like, like eventually they're going to give me what it is that I want. And, but their interpretation of my, of what I'm asking mm-hmm. for is several levels lower. So mm-hmm. I, I think one part of it is like, I don't know how to ask efficiently. Right. For, for this you, wait, you don't know how, you don't know how to ask. Okay. I believe that I am asking, mm-hmm. but it is not coming through at the level which I I think I I know how to ask, but I'm not asking yeah. properly. Like I like yeah, I guess I guess gotcha. like yeah I think I think there's I think there's something in that. But what I'm hearing is is asking for specific help. You ask for help, but it's not communicated the specific specifics of what you need. Like I am looking for partnership, and and this is what I want. You're not get going to that specific. It sounds like. Yeah, I think I think that's I think that's a big part right there. Um yeah, that sounds right. Uh I'm just gonna let you know, like what why not? The other part here is I'm like, I want to make sure that when people come in, there's a nice lead flow, right? So I want to make sure, like, like, have I figured out things in my business such that I have enough to fill the bellies of and fill the like hearts and minds of my partners, you yeah. know? So it isn't just like oh, I have this whole network of partners, but no one, no one to bring in. Yeah. To actually turn out like we built a perfect engine, but there's no gas, you know, or we don't have wheels for the car or whatever it is. So that's a part where I'm like, all right, let me make sure I'm I'm handling that component of it as well. So that there's just like steady flow all the time. And I'd like and grow from necessity versus grow from just why not? Because we can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like so bloat yeah. versus like meeting bloat, bloat would be like growing just because we can and necessity is like meeting meeting the the requests of the people who are in front of us and having and being able to address it properly yeah i want to capture something i heard you said oh i want to make sure there's the steady flow the thought that came to my mind is like wait a minute you haven't even created it and you're worried about a steady flow right now so um so <laughs> so that came to my mind as you were saying that it's like oh he's he's he wants to make sure it's steady but we're, 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 we're still at, we're not, we're not there yet. And yeah. so, so like, this is a part of me that, that looks and says like, I want a steady flow of people who would want the partnership. Like I like, yeah. I like, it's not a problem. Like not having a partner right now doesn't feel like a partner or doesn't feel like a problem yet. Right. Because I'm like, Oh, well, my flow is not here. But the reason I said, like, I want to start with a hundred K offer and the strategic partnerships. I'm like, ah, but if I had a really cool thing going, I was like, like, Again, like I wouldn't mind, I would shop from the rooftops. I would go to people and be like, oh yeah, like we like together, we got this, 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 this. You want to get this done? Like, let's make it happen because we have we have the dream team in place, you know. We have the we have the capabilities of doing all that. So I think that's that's what's really playing out for me. Like this element of like I feel like I'm on the sidelines waiting for these partnerships to like lean to start developing these partnerships. And I'm like kind of chicken and egging myself. I'm like, yeah. what comes first? Like yeah. having the need or, 
or is it like having the partners so that I'm like, now let me go create the need, you well, know? Yeah. One of the things I heard I want to capture, Niyama, is you said, if I had this really cool thing, I would shout it from the rooftops. Yep. Yep. I did say that. If, if I had this really cool thing, I'd shout it from the rooftops. Oh. And so I thought, Niyama doesn't believe his thing is really cool. He doesn't believe in in. in in what he's doing there's that self-doubt that's creeping in i think that's fair i think that like like i think that's a fair fair point to make like it's look do i believe in what i'm doing absolutely do i want do i see the larger vision of what this thing is supposed to be or could be absolutely do i what is it I have utmost confidence in me, right? And at the same time, it's like, ah, I think I put it. What I do is cool, but what like, but what we can do is even cooler. Like, I think, I think that's like, that's where it is. So it's like, I have, like, I'm like, I'm saying like, all this stuff is true. Like, as I say it, I'm saying it out loud, I'm checking myself. I'm like, yep. All this is true. I believe in me. Like, like, I feel like, like you come in, you, you work with me. It's, a, you know, it's, it's not, it's not inexpensive. It's expensive to work with me. Right. Cause I work with people who are doing like, they get higher leverage off of that. I don't think there's anything wrong with, there's nothing wrong. And there's something really, really, really good about what I do. It's just that where my head's at is like, but like, we could be doing this. Like they can get all uh. of me. And they can get shimmy and they can get this yep. and they can have this 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 and we can find a way that it'll be financially meaningful for everyone that and to get the result that they're looking for and the growth that they're looking for in a much more concentrated period of time. Like that just becomes like a sexier offer for me. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just like that is like I just want to I'm like let's just get there. Let's just go play. You know? And I think that the when I think about my current skill sets there are more things that I need to develop to get us into the world world of just like playing fully. Yep. And that's where I'm like, oh, I want to get into partnerships, but then I'm also like, am I selling the promise without being able to fulfill it yet? Because I'm like, like the partnership needs leads. Yeah. Leads Let me tell you this. So this like, yeah. Yeah. No, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell yeah. Me, yeah. Like, so here's the thing. Like, it's just like, it's just not. Yeah. Like you're thinking about the, the end. Like you're, you've got a huge vision and I you're huge vision. thinking about that, but it's like the, we're here and now. And one thing I have for you is what if you shouted it from the rooftops of your vision? You shouted that from the rooftops and then said, here's where we're at. This is what we're creating right now. Oh, that's interesting. Here's my rooftops <laughs> vision. But and this is where we're at in the phase. Come join me for this piece. This is where we're going, but here's where we're at right now. And shout that from the rooftops. Hmm. Um, for any of you that's listening, I'm I'm thinking, <laughs> which is I usually have something to say. So um yeah, like my brain is doing the analytical processes of it. My heart feels really relaxed in it. My 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 posture feels really relaxed in it. Um, yeah, Let's hear from your feels, heart, Niyama. Well, okay. Let's hear from, what's your heart saying. I think it's just like it's like I just want to shout right now. You know, um, I want to run. I want to run versus like taking like being really pedantic about things. I'm enjoying some of the pedantic pedantry. I don't know what it is. But like, I mean, what another part is like, just let us out. Just like, just let this out. Like, let, let us be unleashed. I think that's like, that's the, that's what the heart is saying. Like, I want to be unleashed. Um, and so, and then like the head is saying, but let's build it up in a meaningful way. Like, you know, so the head, the heart saying, this is interesting because I have not realized it. The heart saying, unleash me. And the head's like, your time will come but first we need to like do we need to do this first. and this and this and this and this we need to get all this in place all this in place and then you'll be unleashed and it'll make total sense and everything will work and i was like i laced me so there's, <laughs> there's something in what you're saying right now that that is a bit of heart head like balance where the heart can be like look we're unleashed this is what we're building like here goes a larger vision of what we're, we're doing. Like I haven't talked in vision in a while. I've talked in mission, but le less vision. Um, 
while at the same time being able to, to satisfy the both the head and the and the body, like the hands and the head and the, the head and the hands to be able to be like, okay, now we can actually create. This is what we're actually creating right here. Yeah. That's I, I, I like this. I like this. You're giving me some some food for thought. Good. And one more yeah. thing I have for you while you're thinking is yeah. unleash your heart. People, these partnerships are gonna come as a result of you unleashing your heart. They want to feel feel you, and of course you can you you the the head can come out too, and you can say yeah we're working on these five things or whatever. But when you can unleash your heart, I truly believe that that's going to be a game changer for the partnerships that you want to create. I gotta, I gotta, I have to get in. Like I'm like oh like because the heart has more going on for it than just like that part there. If that makes sense, like. Like when you when you say unleashing the heart there, I think about the several different areas that I would want to unleash. Um, but I think that there's a lot of I think it's I think it's overdue. I think yeah. it's not like 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 the vision, like what I'm what I'm getting from this year, we're gonna start transitioning, transitioning out. Yeah. But what I'm getting out of from this year is that like the heart, the heart holds the vision. Yep. Right. The heart holds the vision. And I'm like right now that heart like that vision is not being expressed and so like the head is like taking the actions but the heart is like hey by the way remember the actual vision of this whole thing you know and it's like we'll get to it and i just think that there's there's an element of speaking both you know um because because partnerships is like what my vision of the world is. I used to run, I say I used to, I think I still do. Um, I run the world joy movement and the world joy movement is all about like being able to co-create with each other, you know, rather than looking for, for world peace where we're like, like living along each other or world war where we're fighting each other. World joy is about like, how can we create with each other? How can we play with each other? And I think like partnerships to me lives in that space, mm -hmm. you know, I'll be like, hey, by the way, there's a bunch of people who are doing something that they that you are different than me. You have something that I do not have. And look like it is the it is a representation of what it's like when everyone wins. And that is the world that I'm looking to create. So I just realized now, like as you said, like, oh, this is actually what like like what like my life vision, my the 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 world that I want to shape manifested in business and i've never thought of it that way um concretely i think a part of me has known it to be that way but i've never thought of it that way so that's it to me cool one one final note for you yep. niyama is your heart is as you said is where your vision is and when you can access that and 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 be able to uh invoke emotion as you speak about what's in your heart that's going to allow people to connect with you. They're going to connect with you because of your mission and because of your heart and because of what you're doing in the world. Not necessarily because of all the, the steps you have in place or the, you know, the, but the, my systems are so the good. Systems. There we go. <laughs> but I love my systems. Don't take them I, I know you love them, yeah. but man, when you can express your heart, like, like that's how you're going to create partnership. That's what's going to do it. What I, like it's what has done in the past and like like i appreciate it. i have to like i have to activate the heart my heart wants to be unleashed but i also feel like in my head's like yes like it's like you used to speak really you used to, like it's almost feels like there's no reason to have a gate there like the, the door is unlocked but heart like you just need to speak up so look i'm i'm really grateful for you we're going to continue this conversation here in other places um uh Thank you, Shemaine. Uh, I'm going to take back the. I'm going to take back back the thing. Is there you anything else you want to say before I? All right. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for for playing, letting me play. Thank you for playing. Um, you know, realistically, I, I really respect you, and I and I respect you as much as I respect other people that come on here. Uh, and I've always I've I've held a fear of of allowing myself to be in the hot seat, and I'm like. I feel I feel very much served. I feel like it's really fun. I feel like this is a cool thing to have recorded and for other people to to have on there. Uh, I feel um, I feel less pressure. 
honestly, right? Because now I'm like, oh, wait, like I'm still in this game. I'm still learning, you know? And so like, I don't have to be like the leader in that in that regard, as in like, I don't have to be the type of leader that like, that doesn't need help. You get what I'm saying? Yep. Um, I like being the one that's like, hey, I'm out in front and I'm making mistakes and I'm figuring it out and so on and so forth. And I figured out a lot and I'm courageous enough to keep getting support. You know, and I'm courageous enough to do it out loud. Yeah. You know, but there's a part of me like that there, it hits that that's the part that's harder. Right. And then the other part of it being like, I don't want to, I never want to take advantage of anyone. But if I can showcase how awesome you are, then I'm gonna do it. Love you it. know. Yeah. So I, I appreciate it here, Shemaine. Um, we're gonna end on this note here. I, I am gonna leave you with I'm gonna ask you to, to end on two things it's a little longer of an episode but i i, I want to make sure we don't we don't miss it the first question for you as we wrap up here is little three one remind us one more time how do we how do we uh go deeper with you shermaine if we want to continue going down your world how do we go deeper with you remind us one yep. more time. go to shermainemelton.com or you can find me on linkedin as well shermaine melton awesome the second part then is um What's one insight that you've had in this conversation? The insight that I had in this conversation is what I was telling you to, to connect with your heart. You and I have the same struggle where we're in our heads a lot. And so uh, connect with my heart. That's where the emotion is. And that's what people will connect with. All right. I like that too. Like I, it might end up being the same exact thing, but I, I like to each, end each conversation with what I call the time capsule question, which is uh, a, a message that you would leave for your future self. Something that you want to be reminded of in 10 years that comes from the wisdom of the present. What's something you want to remind yourself of in 10 years? Ooh, the thing I would want to remind myself in 10 years is, is yeah, your heart, your heart. When you allow yourself to, to be heard, your heart to be heard, that's going to change everything for you. Yeah. Well, thank you for hearing my heart. Thank you for letting your heart be heard. Thank you for thank you for like listening and also like and also speaking so loudly here. Uh Shemaine, I, I appreciate you. I'm I'm glad I'm glad you're in my world and I'm glad I can share you with, with outliers and uh share share how you do what you do or who you are, like who you be as you be. I think that's probably it. Um with outliers as well. I, I I'm excited for what we just talked about and beyond. All right. Thank you. Man. Yes. Niyama, thank you for trusting me and, and for allowing me to, uh, uh, to be with you and to coach you today. I appreciate you. Yeah, man. You got it.